In this video, we'll be looking at simple operations that is subtraction, addition, division, and multiplication. Let's get it started. First of all, create a folder on your desktop or in other place that you wish to. Let's name this one as Python and enter. Open the folder, click at the top here and type CMD. This is a shortcut of opening a folder directly to your VS code. Type code, then space, then dot or a full stop, then click enter. This will open VS code directly to the place where you can be able to write your, your code. After the VS code has opened, this is how it will look like. Create a file here. We can name this file as simple, simple operations dot py in the previous video i said why we should use the extension of py that is because when the interpreter is uh, interpreting uh, your your program it will be able to understand that this program it's all about python the first operation that we'll be looking at is addition addition is whereby you take two numbers let's take, say for example you have a and b and you want to add them and get an output for this we can be able to tell python print sorry print into bracket 2 plus 9 so if you look at this code we are just telling python python take 2 and it to 9 and then print the value that you get back so for example if i run this uh, this code you'll be able to see down here at the bottom here we have 11 we have 11 let's say for example we have another number let's say for example print print let's take another number for example 10 plus 70 so we know the output of this should be 8 when we run this is we get the first operations which is the the first statement prints 11 and the second one print 10 so this is how you can be able to add two numbers using python so for example we can do a more complex one that is print into bracket we say 2 plus 8 bracket 5 plus 9 then uh, then we print this so if you know simple mathematics where we use body mass we are telling python solve this equation which is in this bracket first then solve this one and add them together and print the output in between here we are supposed to have an additional sign so that it doesn't multiply when we run this we get 23 so basically that's how we can be able to do addition or a sum of two numbers or more in python the second operation is whereby we'll be looking at the difference the difference or subtraction whereby maybe we have a number that is a and b and we want to see the difference between the two numbers for example if we say print we tell python to print that is 10 minus 2 we are telling python take 10 subtract 2 and give us an output when i run this program you realize that it is giving us 8 let me clear this this was from the previous uh, session when i clear that and run again you realize that python is giving us 8 which is the correct answer so for example let's say we give it another number that is print into bracket that is 88 minus 88. So, for example, you have A and you want to subtract A from it. What do you get? Definitely, we know we will get 0. So, you see, realize that we are getting 0 out of that equation. We are getting 0 out of that equation. What if we subtract a larger number compared to what we have given? For example, we have print into bracket. That is 100 minus 120 so we are telling python take 100 and subtract 120 from that uh, 100 in mathematics you realize that you'll get negative 20 so let's see what uh, python will print from this we realize we are getting negative 20
The next operation is whereby you'll be looking at multiplication. Multiplication is whereby you take two numbers and you want to multiply both of them to get the output. For example, if we tell Python print into bracket two times five. So uh, since in mathematics we doesn't have that cross multiplication, we use asterisk that is star to signify multiplication. So in this case, we are telling Python take two and multiply it with five and give us an output. So for example, if I run this program, you realize that we are getting 10, which is correct. For example, if we give it another statement, for example, print into bracket two times two, we realize that it will give us four, which is correct answer. So again, we can give it multiple arguments. For example, print into bracket two times eight times into bracket into bracket ten times eight. So in this case, we are giving it multiple operations that it should be able to calculate and give us uh, back the amount of uh, the, the the correct number, the correct number. So if I click run, you realize that we have our output here. Lastly, the last operation that we'll be looking at is the operation of division. Division is whereby you have maybe number A and you want to divide it among several other numbers. For example, we have print into bracket 4 divided by 2. So we are telling Python that we have 4 and we want to divide that number into 2. So you'll print uh, when we run this program, you can be able to see we get uh, 2.0. In the next uh, in the next video, I'll explain why when we divide two numbers, we get it with decimal zero, which is a float. A float is a data type, but don't worry about that. We'll look at that in the pre in the next video. Another thing is that we can take, for example, print. Again, and we say, for example, 150 divided by 5. And when we run this program, when we run this program, we realize that down here, we are getting 30, which is a correct, uh, which is correct according to the law of mathematics. If you divide these two numbers, you definitely get 30. Another thing is that we can give multiple argument, for example, print into bracket. 8 divided by 2, then divided by into bracket 10 or 20 divided by 5. So when we run this, you realize that we are getting also an output down here. And if for sure you solve this arithmetic, you'll be able to, uh, to realize that the output is the same. So uh, we can review what we have learned today is that we have learned uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. See you in the next session.